everyone, welcome back to another Touring Teacher lesson video. Today we are going over two different types of maths games that you can play using playing cards. You just need you, someone else, or your whole family, whoever you can find. Let's go through the rules. Okay, rules of game number one. Decide if you're going to use addition or multiplication. That's very important to do first. Divide your card pile into two even piles. If you have more players, then you need to make more piles. Have your pile of cards facing downwards. At the same time, each player places one card in the middle with the number facing upwards. As fast as you can, either add or multiply all the numbers. The first person to add, multiply all the numbers together correctly wins that round. Continue to do this until you run out of cards. So. Let's have a go at playing this game. Okay, so the only pack of playing cards that I could find were my Lord of the Rings ones, but that's completely fine because they're great. And just a reminder that if you have a Jack, Queen, King, or Ace, they all equal 10 points, or the number 10 each. So I'm gonna take these, put them back in my pile. We've got our two even piles, and we have decided that for the first round, we're going to be using addition. When we put the two numbers down, it'll be the first person to add the numbers together and call that number out. Are you ready? Ready. Ten. Ten. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Uh, five. Oh. <laughs> Sixteen. Nice. Seventeen. 17. 20. 17. Uh, 12. 12. Uh, <laughs> six. six. 17. 17. That was way too long. 20. 20. Uh, 15. 15. 13. 13. <laughs> 13. 18. 18. 18. 12. 12. 13, 15, 15 19, 19, 17, 17 12, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 16. 16. All right, I love that game. It's quite quick to do, and I love how competitive it is because you're having to do things really quickly and your brain is moving at super speed, but it really helps with our basic facts, so it's perfect for you guys. Let's move on to the rules of game number two. Choose a target number between zero and 100. Divide your card pile into two even piles. If you have more players, then make more piles. Have your pile of cards facing downwards. At the same time, each player places one card in the middle with the number facing upwards. As a group, see how you can make your numbers reach your target number. Use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to reach your target number. You can change up your target number every few rounds. So this one now you're gonna be working with the other team players and you're gonna be seeing how you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, whichever one you'd like to try and reach your target number. So you're working as a team, so this one is really helpful for you guys as well. Let's see and let's play. All right, game number two. So we're going to be trying to use our cards to reach our target number. We've chosen 20 to be our first target number. And because there's only two of us, we're going to place two cards down and use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to try and reach 20. Hopefully we can do it, but we might not be able to. So we'll have a go. And as I can remind you again, if you've got Jack, Queen, King, and Ace, they can all equal 10. So this time we're working together as a team. So it's not competitive, it's teamwork. Okay. All right. That's 10. So we can go um, six plus four equals 10, plus another 10 equals 20. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got three, so we can't reach it. Three times four is 12. 3 times 10 is 30. Mm -hmm. Minus 10. And 6 plus 4 is 10, so we can do 30 minus 10 equals 20. Perfect. 
All right, because we were able to get to our target number before, we're going to change our target number to 50. Okay. Um, 10 times 2 is 20. Well, 6 times 7 is 42. Plus, Plus 10, 10 is 52. 52. Minus, minus 2, two is, is 50. 50. Yes. yes! Perfect! So hopefully you now know how to play those games, you've seen an example of how to play, and now you can practice with the people in your household or whoever is in your bubble. So that will be perfect to help you with your basic facts and all your math skills. So I hope you have fun with that. I've got another maths game about place value that you can have a look as well, as well as lots of other learning videos for you guys while you're learning at home. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can see all those lesson videos and I'll see you guys very soon.